Good morning, everybody. Steve Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and uh, want to kind of bring you up to speed on some things that are going on around the world. And definitely, things are heating up. Uh, uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get you some a little bit more deeper information about the situation with Ukraine than what I'm about to share with you. But one thing I want to tell you about before we get started in the Ukraine uh, side of things is I received a phone call this morning uh, from a very dear friend, uh, engineer with FEMA, and was being updated about some very unusual activities going on here in the United States. Uh, they are preparing. Uh, they've been uh, the the FEMA people have been asked to record and report any outages, power outages, or food shortages in their areas. Uh, I was told that they are pulling out of Florida. Uh, they're not going to continue the relief going on in Florida to the people uh, that were affected by Hurricane Ian. Ian, excuse me, and um, and that also uh, they are advising uh, any of their families that they may have up in the northern part of the United States to be taking iodine uh, pills. They're not necessarily recommending it for deeper southern states, but northern states, yes. Uh, that's very alarming, and it also reminds me of the different uh, dirty bombs that have been diffused up in New York. Uh, we know there's also been uh, state, uh, or, you know, there, there's been a lot of uh, publications out there about uh, the use of um, uh, iodine and also the use of the facilities for nuclear fallout. Uh, in fact, FEMA w was discussing whether or not to open up the some of the uh, fallout shelters that are up in New York, but they don't even know if they're operational. Th that does remind me, and, I, and I'm only going to say this, and I say this with sincerity. Uh, for those of you that listen, you can find the description in the description below. You'll find EMPShield.com. Uh, with this growing threat that we are, that we are facing right now. Uh, I can't begin to tell you enough. You might want to seriously consider getting an EMP shield. Uh, and of course, if you do it with through us, they, you'll save $50, whether you're doing it for your house. It's $389 for one. I do have a video online. I'll try to see if I can't attach the link to, for that as well on how to install that in your car. But you need to remember to put the INL50 code in there so when you apply it, you get the $50 discount. Don't want to stay on this subject. I just think that the more that we're facing these things, the more serious it is. Like you can see, they, they take $50 off. And if you buy 10 items, they'll take $50 off of each of those 10 items. Okay, just so you're aware of that. All right, Times of Israel, Russian ex-president. If Israel sends weapons to Ukraine, it will destroy Moscow ties. Putin ally Medvedev says Israeli move would be reckless. A warning comes after Israeli minister called... Uh, uh, called to give Kiev military aid after reports Iran to supply Russia with missiles. And that is very true <clears throat> that they are talking about this uh, situation right now. And uh, let's see, I've got that. Oh, gosh. Actually, it's in an email. An email. Uh, no, not that email there. Uh, if you actually go back and pause the screen on that, that'll shock you, that email there. Oh, gosh, I don't have that email up, and I thought I did. Uh, let me pause the video just for a moment. You need to see this information. It's from an Israeli journalist, uh, so I want you to be able to see it. Let's just pause just one second. Okay, so this is the email that I received out of Israel uh, a couple of days ago. The government of Ukraine sent Israel a letter with an official request to receive air defense systems that will help it deal with attacks carried out using Iranian-made drones and ballistic missiles. Ukraine hopes that the deepening of military cooperation between Russia and Iran and the fact that Israel faces similar threats from Iran and its proxies will change the policy in Jerusalem regarding the supply of weapons to Ukraine. The letter states that Russia has recently changed its modus uh, operandi in the war and, and st started using Iranian drones in attacks against cities, infrastructures, targets in Ukraine. As a result, civilians were also killed in the letter, the letter emphasized. According to the information we have, there is a high probability that shipments of Fatah 110 Zulfagar ballistic missiles from Iran will be transferred to Russia in the immediate future. Emphasize the letter sent from the Ukrainian embassy in Israel to Israeli foreign ministry. The letter states that in the light of the Iranian aid to Russia, and in order to protect its citizens, Ukraine wants to begin cooperation with Israel 
uh, in the fields of missiles and drone defense. Ukraine is very interested in receiving defense systems from Israel as soon as possible, in particular the Iron Beam laser system, Barak 8, Patriot, and Dome, uh, uh, excuse me, Dome, Iron Dome, David Sling, and Arrow. And we also request Israel's assistance in training the Ukrainian operators, the letter stated. Some of the air defense systems mentioned in the letter are not operational at all and are still under development, such as the laser system. Other systems, such as the Patriot, are not Israeli made uh, at all but American. The letter further emphasized that Ukraine's request is based on the fact that if Iran gains positive experience of operating its Western weapon systems in the war in Ukraine, this will lead to the improvement of the Iranian weapon systems and strengthening the Iranian ability to produce offensive weapon systems that will pose a threat to Israel and the entire Middle East. The Ukrainian side expects a positive Israeli answer to our request, the letter emphasized. And I, I feel strongly that Israel is going to cooperate uh, with, uh, with uh, uh, Iran uh, excuse me, with Ukraine on that request. And again, <clears throat> one thing I'll remind you is that in one of the meetings that I had with Washington is that this war is only setting up a new world order. So what you're seeing on the surface is what they want you to see in order to make it look like Russia and Iran and these other nations will be the Gog of Magog that comes against Israel. Uh, but in the end, Israel will end up becoming victorious. They will be set up as a new world order headquarters, and they will rule with a rod of iron the entire globe. That's why you will go underneath the Noahide laws, as my wife so well brought that information out to you already. Uh, you can still see some of those videos on our channel, Israeli News Live, here on YouTube, and you can see that information uh, if you actually uh, just just type it in Noahide Laws, put in there Yana on their Israeli News Live, you'll, it'll pull it up. I, th I think we actually have a playlist still, though, where we discuss those issues. Anyway, moving on, Ukraine fires six Hamars at the power station dam trying to flood the Kyrgyzstan. All They were all intercepted. Al Turner brought that out. And that's, again, nothing unusual. The Ukrainians are self-inflicting damage on their own nation, their own people, to gain support from outside forces there. Uh, Russia attacks Ukraine's Kiev, Odessa, with kamikaze drones in a fourth day of airstrikes, uh, according to the report here on the New York, uh, New York Post. It says Ukraine's Kiev, Odessa province came under attack from Russia's kamikaze drones Thursday as a missile fell on the key cities in the fourth day of bombardment by cornered, uh, excuse me, Cornered Kremlin. Five people were killed in the southern Ukraine city of uh, Mykolaiv Thursday afternoon. Russian missiles struck an, an apartment building there. An 11-year-old boy was among the dead, according to what they're reporting. Now, it's interesting, though, how Turner, how Turner actually uh, brought out that Russia destroyed a satellite uplink station outside of Odessa, Ukraine, and all NATO gear inside. The Rush uh, says here, uh, that the Russia, Russia has destroyed the satellite uplink sta uh, earth station of the communication center of Ukraine. To destroy it, a special operation was organized by the Russian army after first pinpointing its location. It was hit using a high uh, precision weapon. The destruction of this earth station, at least for a time being, has totally shut down Ukraine's secure government communications network and has stopped the flow of NATO intelligence to Ukraine's government distribution network. So, Again, what we see is what the propaganda they want you to see. I think uh, I'm appreciative of Hal Turner uh, going beyond the propaganda and telling you the truth there of what's happening there. Uh, you know, support Hal Turner's work. I noticed he's talked about it before. Not many people do. So uh, I'm dealing with uh, crazy dogs in here. So apologize for that. Uh, at any rate, um, so... The thing is, uh, this article here I got sent to me, uh, I think this was uh, Sister Rosa, I think you sis. Russian soldiers build spectacular um, uh, magnet line in Donbass, Ukraine, uh, or are these, are these, these giant trenches uh, delimit the new border, uh, uh, the new border of Russia. And uh, so, this here, I want you to see, let's play this, this video here. Russia does have a very Building unique way of region. making... The Russians are installing anti-tank cannons. Making these... In the uh, part of the Luhansk region, 
The Russian occupation Mercenary. forces are building defense lines. Russian media reported that Russian mercenaries from the so-called private military company Wagner were involved in the work. This is how the That's line the of defense is lined up in the Luhansk People's Republic. Excavations, ditches, trenches, everything from military science. PVK Wagner engineering units are working, the Russian media reported. MDK-3 engineering machines were involved in the construction of fortifications. These are mounted rotary cross-digging trench excavators. Defense lines are also strengthened with the help of anti-tank fortifications, which should prevent the advance of enemy units on armored vehicles. Usually, for effective defense, anti-tank guns need to be partially buried in the ground. Small anti-tank Very interesting guns must raise uh, what Russia is planning. And, and uh, you can certainly see that Russia knows that something bigger is coming, and they are trying to get ready to defend the eastern part of Ukraine. Uh, so I wanted to share that with you as well. Report finds U.S. military is weak. That's another concerning article that I got this morning as well. Not sure if that was from uh, uh, one sister out of Georgia or if that was from Sister Rosa, but I want to thank you for it. Uh, China is building more warships. Fighter pilots don't have jets for training and army and can't recruit enough soldiers. Uh, the U.S. military has grown increasingly weak over the years and is considered at risk of not being able to win a war against uh, uh, bur burgeoning threats overseas. A new report has found the, the worrisome trend was aired Tuesday by the Heritage Foundation, a think tank that analyzes the strength of armed forces and potential threats to the U.S. And in its, uh, in its foundation index of U.S. military strength, the Heritage rated America's military as weak. That's the first time ever we've been considered weak. And I can actually confirm some of that from meetings that were held uh, by the Joint Chiefs of Staff as they were looking at uh, specifically the naval, naval capabilities of China. Their technology is so advanced in their naval capabilities uh, that the Pentagon knows that a war between the United States coupled with Russia and China going against us, we don't have a chance. Uh, even China alone in a war uh, from the war games and the analysis that the, that the Pentagon has come up with, it would be a neck and neck dead heat uh, that China has that strong of a military now that uh, the U.S., uh, you know, the, the analysis says that it would be like us trying to fight ourselves. That's how strong that the, China, the Chinese have become uh, with that, specifically their Navy. And that's why we're being challenged by their Navy uh, already. So <clears throat> these things are very alarming that we're seeing, guys. We're going to keep you updated on things that are going on. Uh, please uh, keep us in your prayers here. A lot going on in our family here. Uh, so I do ask you to keep us in your prayers. I did mention a little bit of that, about that on the news the other day. I don't want to go too deep into that as of right now. Um, I just need to kind of let that rest until further things take place. I know that there have been uh, doctors on the front lines out there that also uh, that's been brought to their attention now how serious the things are that are going on. I'm Steve Benu. You're watching Israeli News Live. Have a great day.